Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're on a train! We are on a train, and we will likely be on the train for the entirety of this episode. So, today we're going to explore more of the train, because the train is on the way to the sixth world so we can get the next crystal star. But unfortunately, this is going to be probably a very boring episode because it'll just be me running around the train a whole lot. Sorry. <laughs> But we get to meet some new characters. Welcome, welcome, welcome! This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this trip we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad, oh my gosh! I can't tell, is she singing? Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes to eat here soon. Okay, I'm gonna assume she's not singing because those words don't rhyme. Let me just... That's the waitress of the XS Express. Kind of spacey. Think she is, she's an okay waitress? Probably not. But guys always go for girls like this, don't they? Why is that, Mario? Hmm. Hello, I am Chef... <laughs> I am going to offend so many people with that. I am Se Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. Wait. Glad to make your complaintance, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, acquaintance, so sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it, so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. This is Chef Shimmy, the cook aboard the XS Express. He cooks for everybody! I can't figure this guy out. I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Hmm. It is open. So this is the souvenir stand. Mysteries are free coins. Thunder Rage. Oh, you can actually buy boo sheets here? That's pretty good. Why would you need a tasty tonic? Well, they sell super shrooms and maple syrups, but they're kind of expensive, so I don't bother. Let's explore more. Who's in here? Hello, you. I am on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Okay. There are several detective novels in here. Oh, well, I'm glad penguins are back. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes! Well, that's nice. There's nothing in here. Aww. Oh, hey! You remember the bob -omb family? They were in the Glitz Pit as well. Yeah, I'm Bob, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool! Aren't you jealous? That's Bub the bob -omb. He's from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. Oh, wait. Still, kids are kids, no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? I've tattled on these before. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Ah, oh, <laughs> my, my, my. Okay. Oh, you are the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzales. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Oh, thank you. And there's a star piece in that drawer. That's pretty cool. Hello to you, and welcome to the XS Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy fret? Uh, I see! Good gracious me! If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Oh, everybody has gathered here today for something. He's a Ratui businessman. He's on the XS Express for business, obviously. I really wanted to say Ratatouille there, but nope. I bet he's putting everything on an expensive count, huh? Isn't that a fringe benefit? That's Pennington, a, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why do detective types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? <laughs> Kinda true. What's going on here? No, my heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my masterpiece. I mean, my masterpiece. And now it's gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. 
I'm dying for a taco, guy! Can't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This is in my contract. I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my expense account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. What's going on here? Oh no! And Zip Toad is here and everything! No! My life is totally ruined! Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said? And, um, uh, exactly, what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our per per perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, the gluttonous woman! What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yes, sorry. Ahem. <laughs> Very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Ah, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety Geezer. Tweety? Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal trashing, but, well then, who did do it, hmm? Hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. A clue! There are traces of something on the carpeting. Hey, this totally looks like some spilled stew on the carpet. We can follow the trail to the thief, Mario. Hey, it might even be the same person who wrote that sticky, yummy fret note. What makes me say that? A Goomba's intuition. A clue. Yes, I know there's a clue. Alright, let's follow the stew. The vital clue to who knows who. Well, leads to the fat guy, so. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you want? Brrr. Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Oh, really? There are several gourmet food magazines here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There is a large photo of Seth Shimmy on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There is something under the magazines. We get the gallery pot. An empty stew pot. That thing looks like it was licked clean. Don't! Oh! I'm sorry! I ate it all! It was me! So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Justice has been served! Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir, 
Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. Yeah, so basically the chapter is filled with lots of little stuff like this to kind of pass the time while you go on the train ride. In my opinion, that makes it very boring. I know it kind of shakes up the formula a bit, but I'm not actually a fan of that. So you found the beef! Or, I mean, the thief! I am joyful! Here's your pot back. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world! You have even brought my pot! It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it! Thanks to you, from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Ah, why must I butcher this language show? So shameful. I mean, take it, I, I mean. We get a star piece. Nice. There's only a couple more of those in this world. <sighs> so you. Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the only... the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the Penguin with the Improbably Large Brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name? Wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache? That nose? Ho ho ho! All too easy! You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself, I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this fret, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion? That family of bob -ombs. They are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Cheek heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, so he actually calls us Luigi. Because nobody in this game calls us by our actual name. And, yep, to iterate time passing, it is now sunset on the train. Which is why everything has a weird greenish glow, I guess. Are you even listening? That's what I'm saying. He's our little bub. His present, obviously, needs to be much more expensive and utterly gaudy. I mean, don't you think so? Because that way, clearly, he'll remember it longer. And that's why you need to think long and hard about what I'm saying. No, 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 dear. We must think more about little bub's future. Do you hear me talking? He needs something useful, dear, not a toy. And that is why you must just use your brain and think just a little bit harder on exactly what I am saying to you. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I'd brought my GBA. <laughs> nice. I think we should get Little Bub the Advanced Learner's classic series of Bob Ombre. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car, or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. <laughs> I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that, that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, then, here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Um. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you've got it, don't you? Alright, he wants somebody's autograph. Alright, let's just get everybody's autograph and give him all of them. I can hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. 
One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> oh, good clue. Hey, dude. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh, well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. The stew was the most expensive? Really? Not like the filet mignon or the lobster or something? The thing that young Master Bob wants most? Well, let's us deduce, shall we? Why, it's rudimentary! He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi! Because of that, my friend, is what young children his age crave above all things. <laughs> I love the blatant Nintendo product placement for a portable system, a handheld system that has been outdated for about 10 to 15 years. Yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. <laughs> well, that's nice. You are so totally bagged, that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Sure. Really? Wow, okay. So I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're, like, awful of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? So that's a little side quest. If we can find them and give it back to her, then she'll give us a star piece. We'll get them just for the natural court progression of things. Hi there. Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that soup was scrumdiddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. I kind of understand where he's coming from. Like, really good food is just like some of the best things on this planet. This is a passenger car. The green and brown colors actually work here. Wow. There are two passenger cabins here, numbers one and two. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, that woman is so fashionable, it makes me sick. She's obviously the kind of lady that belongs on this train. Classy all the way. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man. You, your marvelous dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. So she lost a ring. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for stuff. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, Well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right guy? Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Hey! You don't think Bub might want something from someone he admires, do you? Well, we better find whatever it is soon, or we'll meet a sticky, yummy end. I love those are the, like, intimidating adjectives they use for the explosion. Sticky, yummy. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little Bub? Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. We got an autograph. The autograph of the XS Express engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. I don't know. I would not be a fan of having to sign people's autographs. I mean, sign my autograph and give it to people. I don't know. Thankfully, nobody's asked. Or actually, maybe I have. Back at my old church, one guy used to go around saying, Hey, it's autograph day! I need to get everybody's autographs! And I may have given him mine. I don't know. That was a weird tradition. Well, anyhow, little bub just got... He's about to get what he wants for his birthday. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah! Bingo, mister! That's just what I wanted! You're a good detective! Here's something for you, just like I said. We get a Shine Sprite, a mysterious powerful object. Collecting these will help. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. And now it's nighttime. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me! I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. 
I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have the exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chewy to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. <laughs> Call me Blanket P.I. <laughs> Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. I actually totally forgot about this part. Okay, they, they are just still arguing. I like the way the train looks at night. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you just stay out of my way for a little while? Yeah, sure. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share, if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our sticky, yummy suspect. Really? I wonder about that. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening odors. Ah, oh, no, curse this ton of mine. I mean the evening hors d'oeuvres. Welcome to the dining car. You were just the greatest. Thanks for so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. Uh, yeah, sure. So we still haven't met who was in cabin number four. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky fret? No, I left no such vein. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket, then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. All I need is... YOUR LIFE! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do, a horrible fate awaits you. So yeah, there's a ghost in Train Car 4. I'm not really sure how you would figure that out. Maybe there's like a hint given by some of the passengers. But yeah. <laughs> ghost on board. Is it really a train mystery story if there's not a ghost? I feel like all the great mystery stories have a ghost of some kind. Even if they're not like actually a real ghost, but like hasn't mentioned like, yeah, a ghost lives there. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Pfft. So now we actually get to explore the baggage car a bit, which is kind of cool. So his diary's back here. You got a ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. 
Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. No. Bad idea, dude. <sighs> so one thing we can do, if we save here, we actually can go and read the diary from the important things. Ragged diary. Read the diary. Oh, sure, what the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyways? Oh, sure, what the heck? I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really... Really bad, you understand me? Yes. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to! Now see what happens! <laughs> yep! Instant game over. Had to show it off, though. What you're actually supposed to do is give it back to the ghost. That's ghost tea. Really? <laughs> He's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost! Did you find my diary? Yep. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. We got a blanket! The conductor's blanket! Without this, he's freezing! You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world, thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Well, that was a little creepy, but we got the blanket back, so let's give it to the conductor. I don't know, this world seems so boring without any enemies. And there's just a lot of talking. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Here you go. Oh, thank you so much! Now I'll be comfortable tonight! Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Oh, we get a mushroom, which we have no use for, but it's better than a mistake, so... It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express! I don't want the mistake. You can have it. Consider it your dinner. It's time for sleepies. Dad says ghosts come out if you stay up late. Kid, you don't even know. Hey, my, there are only two beds. I suppose I'll share the bed with Bob. Dick old Bob's night sweats are repugnant. Oh, they're not sharing the bed. Good gracious, I just noticed there are only two beds in here. Does that mean I'm to share a bed with the wife? Do they not know she explodes regularly in her sleep? I demand a refund. <laughs> Okay, that's that, that's why. It's been hard keeping a night watch lately. I was a piece of cake when I was young. I like how they have different dialogues depending on what time of day it is. I see. So it was not in fact our yummy sticky suspect. Just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Works for me.
And now the shop is closed when it gets late at night. I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, traitorous ton! I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. Oh, perp work. Whoops. The kitchen is closed! Oh, okay, yes, I can see that. Let's check in on everybody else. Me? Sleep? No, I don't get tired. Ghosts are just like that, I guess. I think I need a midnight snack. Is that dining car still open? Nope. Dang, how much can you eat? You ate a whole pot of stew. And dinner. Ah, time for my beauty sleep. Staying up late causes wrinkles, you know. I'm feeling totally run out, guy. It's hard being famous, let me tell you. That I don't deny. I do not want to be famous. Because if you're famous, you can't really leave, lead a normal life. For the engineer, there is neither night nor day. There is only the long, lonely track stretching to the horizon. Don't you have, like, another engineer on the train so you can alternate sleeping and keeping your eyes on the road? Maybe not. Alright, time to turn in for the night. Yeah, let's leave everything else to the conductor and get some shut-eye, okay, Mario? I would like to go to bed for the night. Train voyage, day two. Good morning, everybody. I got an email! Who could it be from? RDM Issue 5. RDM Issue 5. Rogue Port today. Local mystic Merlovely, age 25, was taken to the hospital today, following quick, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Merlovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight shroom steaks. The divine, div <laughs> the divine diviner explained that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Shop, reporter, go. This time, let's head to Keel Hall Galeria. We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor and former flight fan. Flight fan. So call me the Invincible Shopmaster from now on. I am 100% serious. Print that. We wish him all success so that he can grab with his two hands and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for rookies! Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level d recipe. Today's dish is the single serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir, and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. Editor's note Thanks for reading in the rest best rag in the land. See you next issue. Republished by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. Mario is sleeping just reading that. Good morning! So, any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Nope. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious, it will make the day mad. Ho 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 I always pictured him with, like, a foreign accent. I'm not sure exactly which. Like, maybe, like, an Indian accent. I am not gonna even try that. Oh. I don't want to offend anybody. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least! Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. 
Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold... Well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky, yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's, let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast! They could carry out the threat in the note! So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. So you made honey syrup that can bring back the dead. Okay, that is weird. That is completely single-handedly odd. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Also, if honey syrup can explode when mixed with certain other things, wouldn't that be considered, like, very bad? I guess it is a beta, like, prototype, but still. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Little Bub sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Top of the morning to you, Gonzales. I'm afraid you saw us at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Well, the thing is, they were arguing about something they both really care about, namely their son. So at least it's good arguing, right? Because they both just want what's best for them. Oh, you say the same thing? Okay. Well, I think that's all the time we have for this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. Tune in next time. We'll be finding the, out who the thief is, and then going to Riverside Station, which is the only exciting part of this world, really. I uh, hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.